Hello and welcome to Quill.org. In this video, we're going to walk through how to sign up for your account and how to create classes. From the Quill.org homepage, to sign up for your account, you can either click the sign up button in the top corner, or you can select your role from the middle of the page. Once you click sign up, you'll need to select a role. You can choose from a student account or a teacher or guardian account. Then you'll have the option to either sign up with your Google account, sign up with your Clever account, or to manually create your account. If you're going to manually create your account, all you need to do is type in your first name, last name, your email address, and create a password. Once you've filled out all those forms, then click the green sign up button at the bottom. And then you'll have the option to select your school. So you can either search by the school name or zip code, or you can skip for now. Then you'll be brought into your Quill account and enjoy the confetti that falls. And now you're ready to set up your classes. So to create classes, you will click on the Classes tab, and then you'll see that you have three options for how to create your classes. You can import from Clever, import from Google, or you can manually create a class. We're going to start with manually creating a class, and then we'll look at the other two options. To manually create a class, you'll click the green Create a Class button, And then you'll need to put in a class name, so for example, period one. And then you'll select a grade for your class. And just a note that selecting a grade does not limit the number of activities that you see. You'll still have access to all the activities in our activity library. And then you'll see your Quill generated class code which is almost like a password that students can use to join your class if they need to. Then you'll click the Create Class Next button. And then you have two options for how to create student accounts. The first option is for students to create their own account. And if you click that top box, then you will see a specific link for your class that has that class code in the URL. And you can copy that link and send it to students on your learning management system, or you can write the link on the top of your whiteboard. The second option is for you as the teacher to create accounts for your students. If you want to create accounts for your students, all you need to do is type in their first and last name, click add, and then you'll see that their username and password is automatically generated. After you input all of your students' information, then you can click the Next button, and then you'll have the option to download student login and set up instructions if you would like to. After you've done that, you'll see that your class that you just created is now on your Classes tab, and you can now start assigning activities to students. A second way that you can create classes is through importing from Google Classroom. To import your Google Classroom rosters, you will click the Import from Google Classroom button, and then you will check off the classes that you would like to import. Again, you'll also need to select a grade for your class, then click the Import Classes button, and you will see that those classes are automatically populated into your Quill account. All students will need to do to log in is log into Quill with their Google linked accounts. The third and final way to import your classes is by clicking the Import from Clever button. Check off the classes that you would like to import from Clever and your grade will automatically populate from Clever. 
Then you'll click the green import classes button. And those clever rosters that you checked off will automatically populate into Quill. Similarly, to log in, students will just need to log in through their Clever dashboards. All they'll do is click the Quill icon in the Clever library. For more information on getting your Quill account set up, email us at support at quill.org.